Hello bakers, welcome back to Le Bon Baker. I'm Nicole and today we're going to be making really tasty ham and cheese scrolls, also known as roll-ups or pinwheels. It's a really fun recipe and most of the ingredients you'll probably already have at home. Let's get to it! As always, turn on your oven, 180 degrees Celsius or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then line a nice baking tray with some parchment paper. This recipe works as a really nice appetizer uh, and also a really good lunchbox treat. It's really fun to make so let the little ones help you, uh, all the big kids as well. Let me run you through the ingredients. So over here I've got some tomato sauce or some ketchup. Use your favorite mayonnaise. I've got my favorite here, which is Kewpie mayo or Japanese mayo. Um, I've also got some sliced cheese here. And I've gone with smoky gouda, but you can use whatever cheese you like. Um, and then I've also grated a bit of tasty cheddar as well. And then I've got some ham. And then for the garnishing, I've got some spring onions and some sesame seeds. And then over here, We've got the main star of the show, which is our puff pastry. And then just before that goes in the oven, we're gonna use the egg wash just to brush that. We're going to start adding the different ingredients to the puff pastry. As we go, just make sure you leave about an inch um, at one of the edges. And that's just gonna be because when we start to roll it up at the end, we're gonna need that to base the egg wash there so that it closes the actual scroll. One more thing I wanted to let you know, I have been letting my puff pastry just sit out on the bench and come into room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes before I'm actually going to use it. Starting with the tomato sauce, I'm just going to put some here and leaving that little gap at one of the ends, so I'm leaving mine here. And next up, the mayo. And I'm just going to kind of use my butter knife and make sure that all of the base of the pastry has been coated, except for that one little part at the top. You can go in whatever order you like, but I'm going to go with cheese, ham, and then more cheese. <laughs> And you want to layer it just so every part is covered in some way with some of your delicious ingredients. Looking good. So just give that little inch at the top a bit of a brush with your egg wash and egg wash is just egg and some water beaten together. Nice. Time to rolly pole. Try and roll it quite nice and tight so that, because these are going to expand, so you don't want them too big at the moment. And we'll just chop off any excess on the ends that we've got. And as you can see, this is already starting to go forward. So just try and keep that space at the top if you can. These will start to look a little bit chaotic, but stick with me because they will look awesome when you're finished. Now you should have a really nice looking roll. If for example, you got maybe a little bit too excited and put too many ingredients in it, or it started to spill out the top, or even if it's split in the middle, that is still okay. All you need to do is patch it up with an extra bit of puff pastry, just a small piece, and to attach it, just brush it with some egg wash. Just before we start cutting these nice and evenly, I am just going to nick off the sides here. We want nice and even um, little rolls, so I'm gonna do that so they're nice, neat, and tidy and even. So I like to cut mine about roughly an inch um, per scroll. So if you're not sure, you can always just mark your 
um, pastry with the knife and see how that goes and if it looks good just start cutting. Try and do a nice clean cut and then when you go to place it on the tray just kind of puff it out a little bit so that they go back to that nice and round roll. Now it's time to coat them in some egg wash. So give them a little bit of a brush and go all around. And this is gonna help make them beautiful golden in color. And I go on the tops as well. Okay, so at this point, right before they're about to go into the oven, just make sure that they're still holding their integrity so they're still upright. If not, just kind of push them back into place and stand them more upright, otherwise they're gonna cook a little bit unevenly. It just helps with the presentation of the scrolls. Sprinkle with some sesame seeds and then into the oven they go. Save these for until the scrolls come out of the oven. We're gonna use this as our garnish. Um, you could also use some chives or anything else green, any nice beautiful herb that you like. I can smell it and these babies are ready to come out of the oven. I've had a little sneak peek and they're really beautiful and lightly golden brown. There's cheese oozing out of them. They look really rustic. I can't wait to show you. Mine have been in the oven for 25 minutes at a moderate temperature. Um, so yours may take a little bit longer, a little bit less. As always, just monitor yours. You'll know when they're ready. I'm just going to let mine cool for about five minutes. These are just piping hot right now. Just transfer yours to a plate while they cool down. Um, and I'm gonna leave the little excess bits of cheese on mine. I think that they look really nice and rustic and those parts are super tasty. I'm just gonna finish these off by sprinkling with my gorgeous spring onion here and make that color pop. These look really nice and tasty. I can't wait to eat one. I love adding something green to the top. It just makes them look that little bit better. There you go. My ham and cheese scrolls or roll ups. Extra tasty, bursting in flavor, super flaky and oozing with cheese. Sounds like a good combination to me. If you've been watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help support me and my channel and bring you more delicious recipes. It's time to eat. Better than a ham and cheese croissant and it's so tasty.